Hi everyone, my name is Chuan Yu. In this video, I'm presenting my homework for AR tracking and 3D reconstruction. I'll start with camera calibration, then AR tracking, and eventually build a point-based 3D reconstruction algorithm step by step. The first part is camera calibration. I first collect a few images with a chessboard in it. The chessboard is predefined so that I can use an OpenCV function to detect its corners. With the 9 times 6 corners, I'm able to calibrate the intrinsics and distortion parameters of the camera. Let's move on to AR tracking. Our goal is to detect this reference image in a real-world space. So first, I mark some feature points on the image with the brisk feature detector, and then I find relations between the reference image and the camera input. Here, the connections are showed with lines. With feature relations between frames and reference image, I'm able to calculate the rotation R and translation T of the image in each frame. And finally, I can lo locate the target image and show a cube frame on it. The third part is mobile phone 3D reconstruction. In this part, I'm going to implement the reconstruction algorithm. Similar to the previous process, we first calibrate the camera of the mobile phone. Then we use this phone to collect reconstruction data, which contains the reference image and the target object. Conduct the same process in part 2, we can track the rotation and translation of each frame. Here I set the first frame as the canonical frame, and I need to calculate the transformation of each frame related to the canonical frame. I show the difference before and after the epipolar filtering. As you can see, there are less relations after the filtering, but the quality is improved. At last, I construct matrix M and apply SVD to it to solve the depth value of each feature point using the triangular method. Here I show the final recon reconstruction result as you can see, the reference image is clearly reconstructed and showed at the bottom. From the result, we can clearly see that the surface of the pop darts is per perpendicular to the reference image. Here I apply colors to the point cloud to make it clearer. That's all for the homework. Thank you.